Sometimes what you want, what you get, two very different things. By coming together under these trying circumstances, we're showing future generations, your Ethans, your Esthers, that in times of hardship, self-sacrifice is often necessary. Like the sacrifice I made pulling 13 Jews out of Germany in 1943. Here we go. Like in my business, a man sweats and stinks till he dies. It's very important that you show people you're bigger and better than them, because if they think it, then you'll be it. That's how you get ahead in the world, become a conqueror. You know, when my sister's husband died young, she started volunteering at the old lady's nursing home, reading stories, teaching cha-cha classes, things like that. Helped to get through the long, lonely days. And at night, jigsaw puzzles, portraits, basket of puppies was a big one. Well, you try to make someone do the right thing, it doesn't always work out. Mm -hmm. I rarely give you advice. You remember the last piece of advice I gave you? Don't get the clap. Came in handy, didn't it? Yeah. Astrid, take a fucking pick. <laughs> Cheryl and me, we sleep in the buff. It's healthier, freer, warmer, too. I got up at 4.30 every day. Do you know how much you can accomplish getting up at 4.30 every day? No one's bothering you at 4.30 in the morning. It's dark, it's quiet. No one's calling you on the telephone. One more, Cheryl. There you go. Believe me, if there's anything you want to get done that you don't want anyone else to know about, you get up at 4.30 in the morning to do it. I knew this fella out of Jersey, cement business. He always said if you want to kill someone, you do it at 4.30 in the morning.